Hi everyone, welcome to Strong Graphics TV. Today, we are going to create something like this. All right, welcome back. Let's get started. Open After Effects. Create a new composition with a resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels. Click OK. Go to the Timeline section and create a new solid. Rename the solid and click OK. Take the type tool from the toolbar menu and type text, whatever you want. You can easily see which keys I am pressing by looking at the lower right corner. Choose the font you want. Align the text to the center. Go to the Effect panel and select Element 3D Plugin from Video Copilot. Now, you have to select the text layer you recently created from the Path Layer 1 option under Effect Controls in Element 3D. Now, click on Scene Setup. A 3D window will appear. Click on Extrude button. Text will be converted into 3D. Hide the grid to clear the scene and turn on AO from here. Go to Material Options of the Extrusion Model and make changes to the extrusion as I am doing. Create a new plane, change the size, and rotate it to be inclined to the text. Create a box, change the size, and locate it to the top of the text, inclined with the plane. Duplicate the box by pressing Ctrl plus D, number of times as your desire, and set them to the location where you want. Rename the layers. Now, it's time to play with materials. Go to the material option and choose the color you want. Turn the reflectivity of the plane to something about 12%. Copy materials to paste them on other layers.
To make something chrome, just turn the color to 100% black and reflectivity to 100% white. Copy the chrome material from one to another. To improve the look of the text, you can also play with the values of extrude and expand edges. Create three bevel copies Play with the values of extrude and expand edges You can see how I am doing Now, it's time to make surface reflections. To do so for backgrounds, go to reflect mode and change mode to mirror surface. Change reflect rotation and position values to something that I am doing. Change mode to spherical for chrome material. Now, it looks perfect. Change the environment to make it more reflective, eye catching, and authentic. Perfect. Now, click OK and return. Create a new camera. Hide the text layer. First, let me save the project. You can move, rotate and zoom the camera by pressing C on the keyboard.
Rename the cam. Now, change some of the properties of element 3D layer such as ambient occlusion and environment settings to make the scene more realistic. After that, create an adjustment layer. Any change in the adjustment layer applies to the entire scene. Search the Looks plugin from the Effects and Presets panel and apply it to the adjustment layer. You can also use Curves plugin to adjust the scene color that already comes with After Effects. After applying the Looks plugin to the adjustment layer, click on Look and a window will be appeared. Search for Rubber Sole in the search bar. Now, click on the tick icon to save settings and close the window. Play with environment settings to make the scene more fancy. Animate the environment rotation as I am doing. Turn on depth of field. Change aperture value to 150 pixels. You can add curves to the adjustment layer to brighten the scene.
Now, animate the camera position and point of interest using keyframes. You can play with the camera with your animation ideas. You can duplicate the camera, one, two, three, and multiple times, and change the position animations of each differently to make multiple camera scenes. Also, you can animate focus distance regarding your need. Similarly, do this for all cams unless you are done. For the last camera, easy ease the last keyframes to make the more smooth ending. That's it. You're done. Hope you liked this video. If you did, please thumb up. If any questions, ask me in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more updates. Thank you.